how to spike your testosterone naturally. Look, we got to be firing on all cylinders if we want to be successful in sports. And one of the best ways to do that is having a high testosterone level. Now, when we talk about that, we're saying fair. We're not talking about um, doing any, taking anything, any kind of supplements that are illegal. We're not talking about steroids, anything like that. We're talking about naturally. How to naturally spike your testosterone levels for your success in sports and in life. And we're going to give you a full assault on how to do this. Natural things you could be doing on a daily basis to spike those testosterone levels so you could get maximum performance out of yourself on a regular basis. First things first, water. You have to be drinking enough water, okay? If you're dehydrated, and Harvard Research says 70% of Americans are walking around dehydrated. As an athlete, you have a higher demand for water than average people. So most people are dehydrated, okay? No excuse for why you shouldn't be having at least a gallon of water every day. I remember I went to a wrestling camp, and they said every time you pass a water fountain, you should be, you should be taking a sip. Okay, so at least a gallon of water every day. You see bodybuilders, they walk around with a gallon of water. They're not just doing, they're not just doing that for fun. It's serious business. If, if, you're not getting enough, if you're not getting enough water, all of your systems shut down, okay? Your, fat meta your metabolism, your fat oxidization, your protein synthesis, all that stuff that's directly related to building testosterone levels, it shuts down, okay? So you have to be hydrated. That's number one. Make sure you're drinking at least a gallon of water every day. Two, our strength training, making sure you're doing complex, tr complex movements, okay? So multi-joint movements. That means you need to squat heavy. You need to deadlift heavy, okay? There's five core lifts that should be part of every athlete's routine. Squats, deadlifts, those are the two most important, okay? Then you have bench press, shoulder press, and bent over rows. Those are multi-joint movements, and you need to be doing it, and you need to be doing it heavy if you want to spike testosterone levels. Okay, make sure you're using good form. You don't want to be heave-hoeing the weight. Anyone could heave-ho the weight. That's not going to be what does it. You need to be controlled movements, but make sure you're lifting heavy, especially squats and deadlifts. You've got to go heavy. Okay, good form. All right, get a personal trainer if, you need, if need be your strength coach. Next are supplements. What should we be having supplement-wise? Supplements, we should be having a multivitamin. Every day, have a multivitamin. Me, I take Mega Men Sport, okay? What else do you need? You got to be having at least 30 milligrams of zinc every day, okay? That is 25 milligrams right there, so I got to make sure I eat the rest of that. I got to make sure I get at least 5 milligrams of zinc every day for my testosterone levels. Next, you want to be having cod liver oil. Fish oil is important, so this is what I take. I take this. Cod liver oil, I could zoom back. It's Carlson's brand. I got this from Tim Ferriss' book, The 4-Hour Body. He recommends having um, two capsules upon awakening and before going to sleep, okay? Every day, cod liver oil. Also, vitamin D3. Tim Ferriss recommends, 4-Hour Body Guy, 5,000 IUs upon awakening and going to sleep. That comes in capsule form. Again, this is legal stuff, okay? We're not talking about doing anything illegal, steroids, testosterone boosters, none of that junk. Okay, naturally, we're having our D3, we're having our cod liver oil, we're having our zinc, all right? We're drink, we're hydrated, we're drinking enough water every day. Next, what can we do from a body language point of view? Okay, open body language is going to have, is related to higher levels of testosterone. Now, I watched a great behavioral study doing this, a great um, comparing ape behaviors versus chimpanzees, and they were, and they were seeing certain, certain apes they stood with open body language and chimpanzees with like closed body language. Well, they did this with humans. They did a test, the highest indoor bungee jumping place. Okay. They had some people just stand out like this. So alpha behavior, all right, legs spread, arms spread or hands on their hips. It was big open body language. And they had another group of people and they had them stand closed like this. They had them sit down and almost apologizing for the space they're taking up, arms crossed hands folded, and legs crossed, small body language. And what they found is that the group, the random groups they put together, the groups that had open body language, they jumped off. They jumped off that highest indoor bungee jumping three times, don't quote me on that, it's like two or three times faster than the group with the closed body language. And in fact, some of the people with the closed body language didn't jump off at all. Now, they did blood samples, urine samples after that. And they found the people with the open body language, they had higher levels of testosterone. And the other group, the closed body language, 
had higher levels of cortisol, which, had, which was related directly to stress. Okay, so that open body language, that big body language, where we're open and we're spread, that's going to bump up those testosterone levels. Remember, the fastest way to change the way you feel or to change the way you think is to change the way you move. So act it, act it, act as if, right? Fake it till you make it. So the body language is going to have an impact on testosterone levels. They've shown it in scientific studies. Also, another practical tip, beware of energy suckers, things that suck the energy out of you, whether it's negative people, whether it's listening to music that's just pulling you down and it's keeping you sad in a more melancholic mood. Listen to music. It doesn't have to be hard, but listen to music that's uplifting, things that are going to pick you up. If you act a certain way, you're going to start feeling a certain way. Okay, so it's got to be a full assault of a lifestyle. Another big thing, sleep, your rest and your recovery. Okay, great study that I looked at with this with your natural growth hormone that's released in your body. There's a graph. This is part of our, our rest and recovery series when you, go, when you go, go on our winning mindset program. But it shows that there's different bumps in, in natural growth hormones that are released in your body. And if you only sleep six hours versus eight hours, you see there's a big spike that you miss out on. So the key is you've got to get that eight hours of sleep every day, especially as an athlete. Okay, if you cut it at six hours, you miss that one extra spike of natural growth hormone that your body is using. Okay, so this is natural stuff that you need to be capitalizing on. You got to get that eight hours. We'll get that graph for you. We'll post it somewhere, but it's huge. You have natural growth hormone that's being released in your body while you sleep. I remember my dad would tell me at a young age, you know, you grow in your sleep, right? Yeah, make sure you sleep so you grow, right? Now looking back, being older, it's like only, you know, kind of kind of petering out a five foot eight, okay, five, seven and a quarter, you know, you wish you slept a little bit longer now. But, you know, it, once I saw that graph when I was doing my master's uh, degree in exercise science and I saw how growth hormone spikes at different times during the night, during your sleep, man, that's a big deal. So you see you have natural gro growth hormone being released, but you got to make sure you sleep. You got to get to eight hours, all right? Even if, you don't care, even if you don't care about getting enough sleep, do it for your testosterone levels. So sleep, strength training, lifting heavy, especially those multi-joint movements, drinking enough water, supplementing, open body language, getting away from energy suckers, right? All that's important. Oh, and food. The one last thing I, had to, I wanted to throw in there, again, also from the Tim Ferriss book on the four-hour body, nuts. They're filling, and also they're going to help with testosterone levels. Six Brazil nuts every day and a handful of almonds every day. Six Brazil nuts handful of almonds, that's going to help with testosterone levels too, okay? And it'll also help fill you up. So all these things that you're doing, putting it together, that's going to spike those testosterone levels. You're going to be firing on all cylinders. You're going to get more work done, and you're going to be more dominant out there when, you're, when you compete. Again, it's natural. It's fair and square. We're not promoting cheating. We're not pro promoting taking any kind of banned substances. That's crazy. Do the work. Do the hard work. Be willing to change your lifestyle, your mindset, your nutrition, your supplementation, your sleep, your rest, and your recovery, you do it natural, you'll have higher testosterone levels, you'd be firing on all cylinders. Mindset makes the difference.